Which which car are we in, Master Miguel? Uh, the lovely gentleman here is showing us all these new vehicles he has. Oh, wonderful! Whoa. That is quite the uh, quite the utility vehicle, yes. Leonardo, man, can I speak to you for a minute, man? Hmm. Oh. Does it help you get up the mountains? Uh, yeah, this one's pretty good to get up the mountains. The the motorbike that we have is probably the best one. Oh, the motorbike one. Yeah, it's just parked over there next to my truck. Oh, next to your truck. Wonderful, uh -huh. darling. Uh, should I park over there? I mean, we can do a whole uh, explanation of each vehicle yeah, and how, can, how you can use can it. Do if you want, yeah. So, would you like to tell us a bit about each vehicle and what what their specialties are? Yeah, 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 what sure do you use do. them for? So the, uh, the obviously the primary job of the quad bike that we have on the end. Yes. We pretty much will use that one for like searching for people. So if we get a dispatch mm. saying that people are lost, uh, they mm -hmm. you know they need help. Uh, we'll use that vehicle. It's it's very good off road, you know, getting up the mountains, all that type of stuff. So it's, uh, it's probably one of the most useful vehicles we do have. You, do you get many calls for people stuck up the mountain? Uh, it it happens quite often, yeah. It's uh it's normally yeah. people broken down or they all run out of fuel or mm. uh, they fall off the mountain. Is the other one? Oh, they fall off the mountain. Uh huh. Is to there, go up, is go there up reasons there, for that? Uh, it's because people like to take uh, unsuitable vehicles to the top of like Mount Chiliad and Mount hmm. Gordo. Would you say that maybe better road signs would be necessary to stop them from committing to such dangerous roads? It, it could be a good idea, yeah. Maybe, what, maybe what they need to be signed. What about uh... barriers? I don't know if I go as far mm. as barriers, but maybe road signs saying, you know, please mm -hmm. use suitable vehicles, off-road vehicles only. Of course, of course. And what about the uh, big vehicle behind me? What's that one for? Uh, so this one is primarily used, well, it will be primarily used for things like animal transport. Animal transport? Yes, Can yes. you so fit when, an animal uh, in the back? So, so when the animals come back, if we manage to trap an animal... Uh, mm -hmm. We can transport it in the back and then safely release it in a different location. Oh, that sounds absolutely quaint. It's so nice that you're not hurting the nature. Yeah, we, we try not to hurt the nature. So, are you going to fit a buck in the back of this, do you think? Uh -huh, or in or the... a fully grown mountain lion? In the, in the back, in the bed of the truck, yeah, we should be able to fit a, uh, a buck or a mountain lion. And what happens if, you know, as they are quite wild and ferocious, if they don't decide they want to go in it? You did say you only had... What was it? Um, uh, a musket, currently. Yes, a musket. I don't think you'll be safely releasing them after you shot them with a musket, no? Uh, well, no. Clearly not the ones that have been shot with a musket. No, they wouldn't be safely released. Uh, but so the then thing is, how the... do you plan to put them in the back of that vehicle? Uh, we would lay out traps. Uh. So mm -hmm. we, we would lay out, uh, you know, like humane, safe animal traps. Uh. We would mm -hmm. uh, catch the animal. It'd be almost like catch them in, you know, type of cage. Yes, uh, darling. Especially for the mountain lions. And then we could just lift that cage into the back of the truck then and, and release them in a different location. I, I see, but it's still quite dangerous and perilous, no? Uh, it can be dangerous at times, yeah. <laughs> Tranquilizers. Yes. Uh, that, that would be useful, yes, but uh, it's not something that we currently have. So, do you have plans in the future to have tranquilizers, darling? It wouldn't be a bad show, but it'd be something that we'd have to, uh, you know, go to the government for and uh, ask them about. Mm, of course. And so now, moving on, what about the bike? So the, the bike, that is also used for more of a search and rescue type of uh, mission. Mm -hmm. So I actually used that yesterday to go and save someone off the side of Mount Chiliad. Oh, so did I'd he break down? He had tried to ride his motorbike down it and he was stuck halfway down it, yeah. So oh. 
That's not quite good, is it? It wasn't one of the best of ideas, no. But no, so I uh, I used the motorbike to, to bring him back down to the bottom safely and uh, dropped him back off into Polito. Oh, that's most splendid. You're quite the hero. So, if I may just go off on a bit of a tangent. What rank are you within the Rangers? Is there ranks? Uh, there is ranks, yes. Obviously, Astrid being the head ranger of the whole mm -hmm. group, she oversees everything. I am the deputy head ranger. Mm -hmm. And as the deputy head ranger, what are you in charge of? Pretty much, I'm on. I'm obviously one below Astrid, so I look after all of the other managers that are below us. So we have like senior managers and leaders of different groups below me, and I uh, I oversee them and obviously look after them. Mm hmm. Hmm. So I'm sure you might be familiar with with a mountain lion called Zeus. Mm hmm. Yep. So I've heard. On the grapevine, that he's also a head ranger. Is this true? Uh, it not seems like, a bit not strange. Like currently know, not that I currently know of, no. I am aware that he's also part of the police force. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of that as well, yeah. Hmm. Does, Zeus, no does Zeus speak frequent this place often? Uh, he comes up here every now and then, yeah. We've uh, we've treated him a couple of times because people have decided to shoot at him, you know. Hmm. Obviously, people see a mountain lion, they get scared straight away and they try to shoot him. Well, he is, an, he is a dangerous animal, no? He is a dangerous animal, yeah, but he's also extremely friendly. Hmm. I mean, he has attacked me once. Oh, he's attacked you once, has he? Mm -hmm. Can I ask why? Have you done something to anger poor Zeus? I was just looking at him. Hmm. And then he ran at me. Almost killed you. me. Yes. He From my been... encounters with Zeus, he's always been quite the charming fellow. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything more with your vehicles you can tell us right now? Um, not at the moment. No, that's about it, I think, for the vehicles. Splendid, splendid. Should we uh, take a journey then? I do believe so. Yeah, take a journey, yeah. Let me just uh, let me just park the quad bike and the 